Hi Libra and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Libra sun, moon, rising Venus, or however Libra may show up on your astrological natal chart, then these messages are for you. Today, Libra, I will be channeling messages focusing on what energies, blessings, may be uh, heading in your direction or that you may be attracting in the month of December so that you can make December a month to remember. But first, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And if you're interested in learning more about me, my client or my credentials, just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. For those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors like, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all free channel messages. The only thing I ask in return is if you could give me a thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages. And if you have like-minded souls within your social within your social circles that you feel may benefit from these messages, feel free to share my YouTube channel link. All right, Libra, let's take a look here at what blessings, energies, you may potentially be attracting in your direction in the month of December. Libra energy. What is Libra attracting potentially here in the month of December? What blessings are coming in your direction? All right, and we have here, you are very close to achieving your goal. Beautiful message here for you. Given this moon, um, the energy, well, first, I want to talk about the perspective in which this is, um, like this illustration is giving. This illustration is giving the perspective or the impression as if someone is like either laying down or looking up. It's giving me the impression of laying down, like laying down and looking up at the sky, at the ethers, okay? Um, I'm getting here for some of you that you may be up at night or that there's this sense of you thinking or your wheels turning when you should be resting for some of you, but for others of you, um, thinking or manifesting at nighttime, okay? I'm getting this energy here that whatever it is, whether it's prayer, whether it's manifestation, whether it's um, nightly affirmations, whether it's some other... Um, manner in which you manifest, such as, you know, manifestation through water, manifestation with 369, manifestation of daily affirmation, however that may be, is as if whatever it is that you are calling in to your energy, it's coming closer or it's closer than you would even imagine or think. Okay, I feel that some of you feel that it is either beyond reach or that it's not coming fast enough because you haven't either one or two things, either you're not seeing it when you've been wanting to see it, or some of you haven't taken a notice of the slight improvements or progress that you may be moving towards in regards to this prayer manifestation or... um energy that you're calling in. Okay. Now this could be in any area of your life. This could be in love. This could be in career. This could be finances. This could be spirituality. It could be a situation, circumstance, or event having to do with friends, family, or loved ones. Okay. It could even be your partner or your spouse or your connection. Okay. So however this may resonate for you, this is giving you the kind of like the reminder here that you are close to achieving that goal which you have been wishing, praying, yearning, desiring, or calling into your energetic fields, okay? I feel there are things, okay, <laughs> that came out for you. Um, that just popped out of the deck. What I want to talk about here, um, there's some of you who have been reviewing 
something or going back and fine tuning something here because I'm getting like something is coming at its peak. Okay. And whatever this may be here for you, Libra, you have trust that just popped out of the deck, which is all about you trusting or having faith that one or two things, divine timing may be at play here with the situation, circumstance, or event. And for others of you, having faith or trusting yourself in the process of however it is, look at that, another one that just popped out of the deck, and that is extremes. I'll talk about that in a minute. But trusting yourself in, in your mindset, in your goals, in the things that you have been either physically putting your effort or work or dedication or consistency on, or trusting yourself in, I'm getting like trusting that things will be okay. It's like, I'm getting here an, an energy where it's like, for some of you, it's like you feel like things will be okay, but it's as if you need some physical, tangible proof or signs, symbols, synchronicities in order for you to feel more secure that this thing, this energy, this project, this opportunity, or this situation, um, you're going to be able to achieve either that goal or be achieve, be able to achieve that progress or that success that you are manifesting or you're calling in, whether it's just thinking about it, whether you're calling it by just, you know, your thoughts, whether you're calling this energy towards you by actual prayer manifestation or some type of resources or tools that you're using in regards to manifesting or prayer. I feel that this energy here, it's talking about you trusting your own power, your own inner faith and inner ability to be that magician in your life. Okay. And when I mean magician, I'm, I'm seeing the magician in tarot. Okay. So having the skills, the tools, the resources in the palm of your hands and you just using not only the 3D realm of tools and resources, but also extending up to the ethers and using that energy, uh, whether it's your higher self, whether it's the ethers, whether it's that you're co-creating with the universe, but that's the energy here that I'm getting for you for the month of December. You also have here extremes okay and what i'm feeling here is that there could have been here in the past or recent past or there could be here something in the month of december where you may feel that may be a little bit challenging and for some of you that may be the reason why you may feel as if whatever this is that you are either focusing on achieving on or trying to achieve may seem as if it's out of reach. And this here is telling you here, it's not out of reach. You are um, able to maneuver situations, energy, thought patterns here, intentions, and bring it to the 3D realm by using and believing your, in your power, in your power of the mind, in your power of intention, in your power of consistency and effort here in regards to this goal or this opportunity. Okay, let's see what else is coming through for you. And then, of course, I have one more deck besides this one here. So let's see what else is coming through for you in the month of December. Blessings coming potentially here towards Libra. And you have, look at that clock. What did I tell you? Some of you, it's like something isn't happening quick enough. Is it quick enough? Something is not happening fast enough. Fast enough. There's an expected outcome. There's this linear uh, view that you have, like if it's going to happen, it has to go through steps one, two, three, four, five, 
And that may not be the case. It might start with step number five and then go back to step number three to then go to step number four to then go to step number one. And maybe the outcome is going to be in step number two. You see how I'm saying? What I'm getting here is whatever this is, is not linear and it's not on your time. It is at the time of number one, divine timing. And I'm also getting here, um, it's also coming with the time of you being able to understand that there could be some things here that either need to be healed, that need to be fixed or mended in order for something to continue to kind of like connect its dots on the ethers. There's something here about needing a little bit more time. Um, there could be something here about it may not be the right time. You may think, you know, from a human standpoint that now is where you need to see it. And now it's when it would be best. But remember, if you believe and, and if you have the mindset that the universe co-creates with you, Libra, if you really truly trust and have faith that things happen for you, then this need or this ego-based need of wanting and expecting it to see it when you think is the best time, it may be, it's like your pride and your ego may be that blockage here because this is saying the universe sees and, you know, the universe oversees everything. And so, you connecting with your higher self is going to allow you to be more at a restful, re uh, receptive yin energy rather than in the anxiety, worry, feeling that something isn't happening fast enough type of energy. Whatever this is, it's this cycle which is called the hot moon. It's the cycle of extremes here, it's feeling extremely stressed, feeling the extreme anxiety, the extreme worry, obsessively thinking or obsessing over a specific thing and stressing about it is not going to create the opportunity to come to you because what happens is this energy creates a blockage. So this reading or these messages are here to remind you to let go of this energy and surrender and trust that things are working in your favor, that you are very close to achieving your goal, even if you think that you may not be, okay? even if your thoughts are uh, allowing you to you know you're allow you are allowing your thoughts to take you down a rabbit hole, okay? So changing the perspective, which is how I started this reading for you, telling you that this perspective of this card is giving um, as if you're laying down looking up, right? Changing your perspective on something here and trusting and having faith, not only in divine timing, but also understanding that you're coming to the peak, even if you may not see it, or even if you may not sense it, or even if you think that something is very, very far, it could be a lot closer than what you may be thinking or feeling. Okay? This is about you savoring the moment here. Libra, it's about you just saying, you know, when you manifest, when you pray, releasing the, you know, releasing the manifestation, releasing the daily affirmations, releasing whatever may be burdening you or has burdened you in the past or recent past, releasing that and allowing yourself to surrender. A cup of coffee says here, meeting and talking, savoring the, the moment, feeling elevate, elevated and building friendships. So basically this card here is about lighthearted energy. It's about you easing the stress, easing the overthinking, easing the analytical, logical mindset and allowing yourself to surrender and allow things to fall in its divine timing. Allow, allow things to fall in its place in its divine timing. 
Okay, and for some of you here, whether it's coffee that you drink, whether it's tea, whether it's just a chill attitude, but I'm getting this chilled attitude here with this cup of coffee. Okay, interesting. You have C C C here <laughs> uh, coming across here uh, in the message uh, as well. So very interesting here. All right. Um, all right, let's take a look here at what else is coming through for you here. Okay, Libra, what other beautiful blessings are coming in for you in the month of December? So I feel here patience, uh, faith, trust are going to be key. Changing your mindset here, feeling lighthearted, letting go of certain outcomes or expectations here. Um, and building stronger connections with those around you, those supportive people, okay? For some of you here, the month of December, this may be uh, connected to business. So there's this sense of you, when you are at ease in the month of December, your business gaining momentum because there is more of a connecting to the rapport of either clients, coworkers, or the staff. And having this energy where things will be accomplished, you know, um, financial gains are coming just by your energy, just by the energy that you're projecting here of being calm, cool, and collected and believing, believing, truly believing in your heart that you are either going to see your achievement and your goal in December or that it may be coming here uh, during the new year, okay, 2025, January 2025, or during Aries season, okay, of 2025, okay? So the new, the new year has two, um, for me, there has two dates. One, you have the January 1st, which is the 3D type of, you know, physically the calendar changes to january 1st 2025 but then we also look at the astrological energy or the astrological calendar and on a spiritual or astrological energy or mindset that begins during aries season okay so just in case for those of you who are a little confused on what i meant here seven of cups the hermit and judgment Seven of Cups, wishful thinking, as I said, okay, so here you have the, the Seven of Cups, it's someone who's thinking something over, like I said, that's the energy that I was feeling here with you're very close to achieving your goal, there's this sense of you either thinking at nighttime, uh, revisiting something, reviewing something in your mind, so again, that is where that energy, this is giving validation, confirmation, there are endless possibilities here, okay, there are many ways that something could manifest for you, Libra, there's not just one specific way in which you may be thinking or may be projecting, okay? The hermit here uh, in tarot is ruled by Virgo, okay? So it's an earth sign here. Now, that could be here for some of you, the, uh, the stability of something here, but you know, Virgo also is ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of thoughtful a thoughtful thinking, thoughtful speaking, communication, okay? So be very careful on how you're communicating your uh, your vision or your manifestations, okay? Or the things that you are saying or thinking because that could be, it's literally right under extremes and trust, okay? So where your mind goes, energy flows. What you think about, you bring about. There's this energy here in the month of December that's bringing you back to the soul-searching type of contemplative, in a bit of a solitude state of being. Uh, I'm feeling you here kind of, you know, leaning in more on your yin energy, your ability to surrender to the process of something because you've learned from certain things, or there may be things in these messages that are reminding you here of, uh, of how to truthfully look at something or transparent wise or uh, leaning into your yin energy meditative contemplative type uh, state of mind is what i'm getting here okay 
So there's something here connected to that energy for you in the month of December. You also have here the judgment card. Now, some of you may have a change of heart about something in the month of December or a change of mind because of that hermit energy, okay? Okay, like I said, Virgo rules, uh, I'm sorry, uh, well, yeah, Virgo is ruled by Mercury, but Mercury rules two other signs. It rules Gemini and it rules Virgo, okay? So if we're talking about planetary-wise, and Mercury is all about the thinking, it's all about the communication. So there's something here having to do with that, with you either reviewing something thinking about something a lot clearer and being able to open your energy to patience, to trust, to faith, to keeping things or, like I said, building connections or mending, fixing connections here, especially with the judgment card. There's a sense of your self-evaluation here, okay, Libra, in the month of December that for some of you, it's going to awaken the sense of forgiveness, whether it's you apologizing or someone apologizing to you. For others of you, is there's a sense of awakening, awakening spiritually, meaning there's a sense of an epiphany due to a self-evaluation of lessons from the past or recent past that the hermit energy does possess, okay? I'm also getting... Uh, for you here, some of you even tapping to resources here in order for you to uh, weigh the pros and cons of something here in the month of December. And that weighing of the pros and cons helping you here feel more comfortable with being patient and feel more comfortable with savoring the moment, having a little bit more of this uh, leaning into your yin energy. Libra, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.